Esports are growing across the globe, even here in West Texas. This coming year will be the second year for esports in the big country. And this year there's going to be at least twice, probably closer to three times as many Texas collegiate programs that are supported by the school. So just in that sense alone, it has grown a lot. Now, although it's just the beginning, the future is bright for gamers. The educational realm, I think it will continue to grow. It's super engaging. It's a good recruiting tool for schools, especially the smaller schools, a whole lot of the new college programs. The McMurray Esports Club is heading into their second year as a program and the students involved are continuing to thrive. Being at Abilene, I had the opportunity and the privilege to play on an esports team. There's so much interest in it. I mean, there is no higher student engagement value than gaming. You're also reaching out to a different group of kids that wouldn't otherwise take ownership of being at school. And this is a great opportunity for that. The team is made up of ex-athletes, medical students, to students who want to break into the gaming industry. A very diverse group of people. And, you know, but you put them all in the same space together where they have all these same interests and it's, it's just beautiful. For me, I do want to go into the gaming industry. So being on the esports team and learning from it, it really does help me. Only three women are on the team and long hopes to continue to break the barrier. We have gone so far as a society, especially with female gamers, but we still have a long way to go. It's a sport for everyone, no matter your personality or background. You put them in this safe environment where they're surrounded by people just like them and it's, they just bloom. It's an amazing thing. Even in my wildest dreams, I don't think I'd ever think I'd be playing on an esports team. It's amazing. Reporting for Fox West Texas, I'm Casey Busher.